What is the universe's geometry? The universe is not static. Throughout time it changes. New stars form from the remnants of old ones. Entire galaxies collide and merge, but most significantly, the 3D space it occupies expands and grows. And the way it does this is described by what's known as the Friedman equation, shown here. The main focus of this video is on the final term k of this equation, and how this one thing describes the geometry of the universe, and how modern estimates of it could imply the universe isn't flat. Yes, this one term could dictate whether or not the universe is set to expand forever and ever, leading to eventual heat death, or whether it's destined to collapse back in on itself in a big crunch. Let's firstly go back to the Friedman equation and examine what's going on here. On the left hand side, h is known as the Hubble parameter, and is a variable which changes in time and explains how fast things in space recede at various distances. The current value of this is known as h0, the Hubble constant, and is approximately 70 km per second per megaparsec. This means that for every megaparsec, which is a huge distance measuring around 3 million light years, or 3 times 10 to the 22 meters, the universe itself will expand by 70 km per second. This may sound quite fast. 70 km per second is around twice as fast as the Earth orbits the Sun, but the key is perspective. This only occurs at entire megaparsecs away, and 70 km compared to a megaparsec is mind-numbingly small, so small it's almost insignificant. Yes, it's only when you go up to tens of magnitudes of megaparsecs away does this expansion become prevalent. But you might be asking yourself, what causes this expansion, and what is actually getting larger? The answer is empty space, specifically voids in space. Space between atoms, or between you and the device you're using to watch this video on, or even between the Earth and the Sun, or the Sun and the Milky Way Center, or the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy, is not expanding. It's only voids between galaxy clusters, where there is no matter which has this property of accelerated expansion. This is thought to be down to negative pressure. Like how a balloon expands when placed in a lower pressure location, such as a vacuum chamber, voids seem to expand over time due to dark energy. This is thought to be a mysterious form of energy which scientists believe provides this negative pressure and leads to expansion. Dark energy acts against regular matter which attempts to hold itself together through gravity. These are both represented by the rho term in the Friedman equation, which is the density term, and can be split into matter density and dark energy density. There is also a small amount of radiation in that term, but in today's universe the radiation density is so tiny and so can be neglected. So dark energy is currently dominating our universe, but how is it expanding? This is an important question because the universe may not be flat like you'd expect. By flat I mean the universe contains no curvature and is finite in extent. If the universe were 2D, a flat universe can be thought of as the surface of a flat piece of paper on a table. However, this isn't the only geometry possible in Euclidean space. The universe could be closed or have spherical geometry. In the 2D example, this would be represented by the surface of a sphere. Living on the surface, you would see the universe as 2D, however it's closed, the lines of sight lead back to themselves. In our 3D universe, this would mean we live on the 3D surface of a 4D sphere. Since this is hard to visualise, I'll stick with using the 2D surface on a 3D sphere analogy, but remember, we live in 3D, not 2, so it would be on a 4D sphere. The only other possibility is an open or hyperbolic universe. This would be like living on the surface of a hyperbola. These are the three possible geometries allowed in our universe, and each fundamentally changes how physics works. For example, if you imagine two parallel rays of light shining forward in the universe, if it were flat, then over an infinite distance, these rays would stay parallel and never touch. Kind of boring, but that's the simplest case. Now let's consider a closed or spherical universe. Since the fabric of space itself closes in and bends over long distances, the two rays would converge and eventually meet. They wouldn't remain parallel. You can convince yourself of this by drawing two straight parallel lines on the surface of a sphere. Eventually, typically at the poles, the lines would meet. However, to an observer on the surface, they would think the lines were parallel to begin with, and eventually bend inwards. Finally, in an open or hyperbolic universe, the lines would diverge and get further apart. Hyperbolas are harder to visualise, but that's what would happen to the rays. Another effect would be with angles. Thinking back to the 2D case now, in a flat universe we know the angles of every triangle add up to 180 degrees exactly. Yet, if we now switch to a closed universe, the new geometry means the lines bend slightly between the vertices, and the angles in a triangle add up to more than 180 degrees. You can see that here on screen. The opposite is true for the open universe, where they add up to less than 180 degrees. So you can see that the geometry of the universe is quite important in physical models. This is where K comes in. K, which is the curvature, can take one of three values. One for a closed universe, zero for a flat one, and minus one if it's open. Ultimately, K will decide how the universe ends, 
Only closed universes can collapse back on themselves, and open universes expand forever. The flat universe will expand forever, but the rate of expansion will decelerate and eventually sit at a fixed rate. Figuring out K is a whole different challenge. Remember that the expansion is only noticeable over incredibly large distances, so it's almost impossible to measure how two light rays behave or how angles change. Instead, we can use standard candles and the Friedman equation to fit different K and see which best describes cosmological data. Or we can examine cosmic microwave background radiation, such as by using the Planck satellite and estimate K. Our current best guess for the curvature is that it's almost zero, and the universe is almost flat. However, within an error range which allows for non-flat geometries. To many of you, this makes sense. A flat universe is what we all typically imagine when we think of our universe in our heads. But why must this be the case? The other two geometries are both allowed in theory, and as more research is conducted, we can better see how different curvature terms can better predict observation. So perhaps the universe is not flat. Let me know what you think in the comments, I'd be interested to know. Finally, if you made it this far and enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. It's free, it helps out my channel a bunch, and you can always unsubscribe. And with that, I thank you for watching.